Hey, it's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction. The talk that gives you an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, alcoholenterprises.com for more info. Email me at benji at alcoholenterprises.com if you'd like to get involved with what we have going. And as always, please continue to like and follow our broadcast because People of Distinction is a nationally and internationally syndicated show because of listeners like you. Our shows are available across all major podcast distributors as well as YouTube. And if you keep following, we're going to continue to put out the content. We appreciate the support. Continue to like and follow and sit back and strap in because on the line with us today, we have the impressive H. Doyle Smith. We're going to be discussing his impressive book, Dr. Brown, The American Medical Situation. Now, it's available for purchase through Amazon as well as BarnesandNoble.com. Pretty much all the regular online book resellers. Head on over there today, pick up your copies, and get lost in this amazing resource. And I'm going to tell you why you need to do that in just a moment. Before we go any further, though, I want to take this opportunity and point out the fact that Doyle was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by one of the best advertising firms in the business. And people, if you follow us, well, you already know I'm talking about Author Reputation Press. So for my writers out there, if you have gone through your process creating your masterpiece and now you need help moving the book you just developed, well, have no fear. Author Reputation Press is the company you need to align with. Head on over to AuthorReputationPress.com today and gather all of the ways that their fantastic team is going to help you do just that. Listen, it is an absolute pleasure to have Doyle here on the line with us. People, we're getting right to the skinny today, okay? You look at the title and primarily the subtitle, you know what we're discussing today. The American medical situation. Well, I guess technically, let me take that back. You might not know because with regards to the medical system, eh, you know, there, there is a lot of issues to be found within it. And, and, and I know probably better than most, my, my wife is a medical practitioner. She is someone that sees things from the other perspective. She sees the business side of things probably more than most. And for anybody that is in that world, for anybody that has received any medical attention or someone that works in the medical system, you understand it's a lot more than just saving patients. This book is going to be layered. This book is nuanced. It's going to discuss ways to correct our medical system so that we're receiving the proper medical attention we need rather than spending all our time focusing on the payments for said attention. Doyle is someone that is pulling from his direct experience from the field, as well as a lot of magnificent research that he has done. I, I'm telling you, sit back, strap in, have your notebooks ready, because this is about to be a masterclass in what to expect. Doyle, first and foremost, welcome to People of Distinction, and thank you very much for being a guest. How are you doing today, sir? Thank you. you know, I appreciate it. Doyle, listen, man, the, the pleasure is all ours. I, I think... What you're bringing up here is something that I, I think we need to bring more attention to. Your book does it in a wonderful way. So, of course, this is absolutely the precipice to that. And it's a magnificent resource, as I've mentioned. But just the conversation around our medical situation, our medical system that we have here in the United States, there's a lot of things that are backwards, man, and especially from a financial standpoint. You have people putting themselves in dire financial situations just so that they can receive proper care. That's not that's not fair, man. That's not okay. There is a lot that this book offers and a lot that we're going to bring attention to. Before we go into your book, Doyle, tell us a little bit more about yourself, man. Tell us about your background. I was a corporate controller for a three-year period, made out three Medicare reports, then, uh, re, uh, comp- then I accumulated the Medicare reports from three different hospitals for two mm-hmm. years. Uh, in uh, one a forty bed hospital, one a hundred and fifty bed hospital, one a five hundred bed hospital, and noticed, uh, for example, that. Uh, we have uh, some real interesting uh, accounting methods that were used. When I did the study on the three uh, hospitals, I found that uh, the 
uh, that particular year, they found a change in the accounting uh, process that increased the recoverable income for each of the hospitals by 40% between one year and the next. Wow. Without adding a single uh, employee or a single square foot of space. This is because the accounting is intended to get as much money as possible to the health care, mm-hmm. whether that is necessary or helpful or not. Uh, when uh, the change in the process by which the money that it comes to the hospital is changed from one year to the next, uh, we find that sometimes we make decisions that end up increasing the cost of the Medicare without any help, without any increase at all in medical care. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was uh, in Berlin, uh, Germany, and my wife fell and ended up with a big gash in her arm. Oh, wow. We went to the hospital, emergency room, and by the time we had been given tetanus shots, the door was stitched up, and we were finished. We had a bill that had to be paid in cash because we didn't have any income over there. And it cost us $60. And we came back to the United States, described what we did to a nurse in an emergency room. Mm-hmm. The nurse, nurse said, said clearly, hey, that would have cost $430 here over here. And we noticed that that is the case in many situations in our medical uh, situation. Yeah. We have a cost plus system. And if you know enough about accounting, you know that a cost plus system, when the worker authorizes the, the work, and the uh, owner has to pay it, the worker is not constrained to save money, and he ends up buying a $150 calibrated knife uh, when a 10-cent scalpel would do the same thing. Mm -hmm. This cost-plus basis for our hospital is one of the biggest problems that we have at this time. Yeah. Uh, There are many others, and the book describes, the book touches on many of these others, but it does not spend a lot of time dealing with each one in in turn. You know, your book discusses a lot of challenges. Well, in your analysis, Doyle, what do you believe are the three most pressing systemic issues within the American medical system And how do they correlate? How do they interconnect? The first is the the attitude that we are a cost plus basis. Almost every time you turn around, you find that if, if the provider happens to find something that costs more and you, and uses it. And as long as, uh, the, Payer uh, pays what the uh, medical provider uh, starts. Uh, the payment is made for the medical care, even if the medical care is wasted. It is very easy to come up with a lot of different things for medical problems. Mm -hmm. that affect 1% and 2% of the population and spend all the time on that. And the people 
who have 60% or 70% of the problems of, that involve medicine are left out because the people are spending their time on the 1% and 2%. Yeah. Uh, the cost of our first off is to understand that our objective in medical care is to make people whole, make them able to move around and do what they need to do mm-hmm. by paying too much for too little, we end up denying people the services of health that they need. People, I'm telling you, this is a book you need to add to your shelf. Once again, it's called Dr. Brown, The American Medical Situation by H. Doyle Smith. You're going to want to head on over to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all the regular online book resellers. Pick up your copies of this amazing resource. Doyle, let's talk about insurance companies for a second because, of course, they have a part to play in all of this. In your research, and your analysis, how did you assess insurance companies in the part that they play in this whole situation? The insurance companies have developed a major portion of the action of the uh, payors in dealing with the uh, financial situation of people who need medical care. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things that I found was that they will end up cause, causing the doctors to be willing to accept much less if they go through an insurance company than if they uh, deal with a person personally. I was able to go to a doctor one time and everything was paid for, but when I tried to pay for it myself, the price was jumped almost 100%. Wow. Because they wanted to go through the insurance agency, an insurance company, rather than deal with a patient. Mm. It is a weird situation that we are trying to do our best to pay for medical care. And sometimes... We need to, not, to stop worrying about the payment for, the, for it and provide a sound basis for giving the me- medical care that we need. Mm-hmm. It, it's a very, uh, and the insurance companies are a major part of this because they can negotiate with the doctors and reduce the price for those, uh, their situation, and the net effect is the patient who tries to pay his own way yeah. ends up having to pay double. Doyle, with my next question here, it's almost unfair to ask because it's way too broad of a question for you to give a distinct and, and concise answer for. But please entertain me, entertain my listening audience, and, and attempt to do so. With regards to solutions right you mentioned earlier when you received medical attention in another country how minuscule the amount i think you said it was about 60 dollars for something that here in the states would have cost maybe 500 well in your experience what type of innovative solutions can you suggest to maybe help alleviate this problem the first solution that needs to be involved medical care is like fire protection. We keep our firefighters, we pay for them, we keep them on duty, and we do everything we can to avoid any fires to begin with. Mm -hmm. If a firefighter does a good job, there will be no fire for him to fight. And this is what we need to get in our uh, our, uh, medical situation. This point of view that we are here to avoid problems. We're not here to spend money uh, treating diseases that didn't need to be had, be, be involved in the first place. 
we can easily spend more time supporting the doctors, making sure that they are available and making sure that they are uh, trained and well taught. But it is the objective of maintaining our health that we're dealing with. It's not the objective of getting money to the doctors. Yeah. There's a problem here. There is a distinct problem found within our medical system, and it needs to be addressed. You know, Doyle, as we close out of here, man, we have discussed so much information, and I thank you for every bit of it, because even though we've barely scratched the surface, we've gotten so much valuable pieces of knowledge. Is there anything we haven't yet touched up on, Doyle, that you really want to make sure our listening audience is aware of? The book covers many, many different things. Everything from men becoming qualified as doctors and then going into research. And uh, uh, there's a number of different things that are part of it. Each of them has to have their own solution. And we need to understand that we cannot use a quick fix for a, pro- a, a problem that has a broad and difficult solution. There is so much left on the table. There is a lot left to discuss. Understand that the power in this book lies, at least in my opinion, not only in the valuable information that it offers, not only in the innovative solutions that it provides, not only in the issues that it addresses, but in the conversations that are going to formulate because of it. I don't care where you fall on the spectrum of this particular matter, conversations is key here and i get it listen the current time that we're living in as crazy as it sounds conversing does not seem to be something that people are open to nowadays i don't understand people just aren't talking to one another well listen let's put the biases aside this problem is bigger than all of that so once again it's amazon it's barnes and noble it's called dr brown the american medical situation Head on over there, pick up your copies and get lost in all of it. Doyle, this has been a true pleasure. Man, an absolute delight. Thank you once again for being a guest on People of Distinction. And thank you.